everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching today's video. Today's video is called Window Protection for Indoor Cats, Cat-Proof Window Screens. We're going to go over several things in today's video. We're going to talk about how to protect your cat from escaping from the window or falling out of a window. We're going to talk about things that you should know about pet safe screens. I'm going to talk about cats scratching your screens. We're going to talk about how to keep your cat content to stay indoors. We're going to talk a little bit about catios. If you haven't heard of those, I think you'll find that interesting. And then I'm going to have some extra resources for you uh, that are going to help you with your cat. If you find today's video to be helpful, please go ahead and give it a like. It does help YouTubers when you do that. And in case you haven't been here before, my name is Deborah. I own a website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com. And several times a month, I do videos all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if that is information that you would like to continuously receive for your pet, I would love to have you on board as a subscriber. So let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna use this article on my website called Cat Proof Window Screens. To guide us through today's video, I'm gonna give you a link to this article in the description box, and I'm also gonna give you the links to everything we're gonna talk about in today's video. So everything that you would want to click on or check out more of, everything's gonna be in the description box, okay? Now, I wanna just give a little personal intro here. If you've been here before on my cat videos, you know that um, this last fall, I adopted a feral kitten named Whiskers. You're gonna see his picture in this video. Well, spring is coming. I got Whiskers when he was um, just a few months old in October. So we're coming on his first spring and summer and I'm getting very nervous because I live in an apartment and I have a sliding glass door with a screen and then I also have a large bedroom window with a couple of screens and I'm just very nervous about just opening those windows and letting him sit there with those screens. I'm afraid he's going to push through the screen. I'm afraid he might try to scratch and get out. So I did the research for today's video in this article for myself okay so i wanted to share what i've learned and i might end up doing a follow-up to this video um to kind of update you on how things worked out but let's go ahead and get into it again as spring and summer approach providing window protection for your indoor cat is crucial cats can escape cats can fall out of windows plus cats can destroy your window screens so installing cat proof window screens is one way to keep uh your cat and your screens safe. Now, how to cat proof window screens. According to the ASPCA, pet owners can fully safeguard their animals by installing snug and sturdy screens in all their windows. Cats and small dogs can slip through child proof window guards, so it's important to recognize that these do not provide adequate protection. In other words, there's those child proof window guards that looks like a little gate with bars. Cats can get through. No matter how much you think your cat's too fat to get through, if there's a squirrel on the other side of that gate, they're going to get through. Okay, don't take a chance with just using that. I am going to give you a link to the ASPCA's article where they talk about this. Keep in mind that some cats might try to scratch their way through a screen, especially if there's a squirrel or a bird on the other side of that screen. They might be content to sit there all day and you think everything's fine, but you know, have a squirrel or a bird or a bunny or, or another cat come up to that window. It might be a different story. Your cat might just out of instinct lunge at the screen, pop right through. You see what I mean? Now, cats might be able to push through the screen with just their body weight, and they might do that intentionally to try to get out, or they might just be laying there in the window, fall asleep, and the weight of their body pops that screen out. Sadly, this has happened. Many, many cats have fallen. Cats have fallen out of, you know, high-rise building screens, two-story house screens, and been killed, okay? So I don't mean to scare you, but I do mean to scare you. This is very important. If you think that your cat is safe in the window, please listen to the rest of this video and make sure, okay? Now, you can... Um, 
you should cat proof your windows for both whether they're going to try to scratch through it or you know so the screen is strong enough so he can't push through you can double up your screens or you can uh, replace your current screens with heavy mesh screens now we're going to talk quite a bit about this and there's some things that you need to know. Beware, sometimes screens can be advertised as pet proof or cat proof screens, but they actually only protect your screen against damage and scratching by your cat rather than effectively keeping your cat from getting out. You see, it's a pet proof, cat proof, What? and some of them mean that the, the screen is gonna be protected against your cat scratching, not necessarily that it's strong enough to keep your cat in. I hope I'm making sense. So make sure that you're getting screening that is in fact strong enough to keep your cat inside, not just protect your screens. Now here's one on Amazon. Now again, I, I wanna say I am not an expert on this. I am researching this topic myself uh, for the sake of doing this video, but I found a couple interesting things. I'm gonna give you a link. The first one I'm gonna give you a link is to this one. It's on Amazon. Now this one is described as being 40% stronger than standard fiberglass screens, uh, perfect for large windows, doors, high usage areas that need protection against active pets and young children, easy to install. Now this is screen material that you use to replace your current screens. Now notice that it says protection against active pets. You know, this is saying that this is a screen that can hold up to damage by your pets. It doesn't specifically say that it's gonna keep your pet inside. However, it is apparently 40% stronger than standard fiberglass screens, okay? Now, if you want something to cover your existing screens instead, you can look at this one. I'll give you the link to Amazon. I think this is the one that I am going to try uh, for a couple of reasons. First of all, I rent, so I really can't be popping screens out of windows and replacing you know, the screen in. If you rent, you really can't do that unless you ask for your landlord's permission ahead of time. And also, I like that these ones, you're just covering the window with it so you can remove that in the winter. And I like the idea that it goes over the existing screen so to me that's like double protection so I'm going to order these from Amazon I'm going to try them out and again I might do a follow-up video and let you know how that works out so here's just a couple of options if you're unsure if you have a big fat cat if you have a very strong or address aggressive cat if you're just nervous you may want to just go to your local hardware store and say what kind of screening can I get that's going to be the strongest right you may also be able to hire a local handyman um, to go and get that screening at the hardware store and install it in your windows. Okay, if you know, you may be able to go on Craigslist or just your local newspaper and find somebody locally that might do that for you if you don't know how to, um, you know, replace the screens yourself. Um, cats scratching screens. If you want to keep your cat from damaging your screens by scratching, you might try trimming your cat's nails regularly. You can learn how by reading my article. I have a video, How to Cut a Cat's Nails at Home. I'll give you the link. You can also refer to my uh, article. I'm going to give you the link to the video, How to Stop a Cat from Scratching on Furniture, because that's going to give you a lot of tips to just keep your cat from scratching things in general. And that video also teaches you how to get your cat to use used a scratching post okay so if that's something you know you want to keep your cat safe but you also want to just protect your screens from being ripped apart right now as far as keeping cats indoors one of the ways that you can discourage your cat from trying to escape through a screen is by doing all you can to make them happy and content indoors if cats are getting enough exercise and mental stimulation indoors they'll be less likely to try to get out for several tips on ways to do this there's an article on my website i'll give you the link to the video how to keep indoor cats happy it's just going to help now that's not going to you, you know you can't just say oh my cat's happy he's not going to try to get out you still want to make sure that the screens are safe for your cat but if you're trying to deter your cat from he's always at the window he's always trying to get out then watch the video on how to keep indoor cats happy and i think those tips will will lessen that a little for you okay now, I wanted to mention catios. If you're just having a problem every spring and summer, your cat is either scratching the windows all the time, trying to push through the screen, they're constantly bolting out the door, you might consider creating an outdoor area designated 
I'm sorry, designated for your cat called a catio. If you've never heard of one, this is what they look like. You can build them, you can buy them already built, um, and they just basically, they're, see, they're an outside space for your cat that's screened in um, that you can either attach to a window or simply have outside. I think they're cool. Now, um, like I say, I rent, so I can't attach anything, you know, to my building, but I do have a little patio um, outside my apartment, so I may check into this this summer and see if I might be able to get some sort of a patio set up for Whiskers where he could, you know, be sitting outside. Now, there's a few things you need to know about catios. Um, they are becoming more popular because it's a way to allow your cat to experience being outside, but safely. Now, you can learn more about catios by visiting Catio Spaces. I'm going to give you a link to them. I also suggest reading their article called Choosing the Best Type of Catio for Your Home. I'm going to give you the link to that. Just as an aside, if you do end up purchasing a Catio from Catio Spaces, please use the promotion code People Loving Animals, all one word. They'll give me a small commission for it, and then I will donate 10% of that commission to animal charities, as I always do. One thing I really want to, I really want you to do if you're going to consider a patio is, I'm sorry, a catio is watch Jackson Galaxy's video called What is a Catio? Uh, catio. He has lots of tips in there, information about catios, and also safety tips, and also how to make the catio, you know, fun for your cat. I think you'll really enjoy that video, but the reason I'm strongly suggesting it is because of the safety issues uh, regarding a catio. I'm just going to talk briefly about those here. You need to make sure that the catio is constructed properly, especially if you're making it yourself. Don't leave your cat unattended for long periods of time in the catio so as not to expose them to rain or excessive heat or cold or wind. The catio should be built to keep your cat safe from predators like neighborhood dogs, coyotes, or other cats. Now, I live in an area where there are cats. Uh, coyotes. It's my understanding that there are coyotes most everywhere. And I hate to scare you, but coyotes eat cats. Okay. So don't think that your cat is safe out there. Make sure that the thing is built to be strong enough, you know, to um, keep safe from coyotes. Um, or, you know, or other dogs or other cats. You, you don't even want your cat out there fighting with another cat. Do you know what I mean? So just keep this in mind. Also, if your cat wears a collar, make sure it's a breakaway collar. I'm going to give you a link to those on Amazon. Those are the collars that if they got caught on something, they would break away. And if your cat's going to be inside the catio, you don't want their collar to get stuck on anything. One tip for me, if you're going to put your cat in a catio, you might want to actually set an alarm. Set an alarm on your phone or on your kitchen stove to remind you that the cat is out there. Because you don't think you're going to forget. You might forget. Um, I don't know about you, but my cat Whiskers, you know, I obviously I'm an internet marketer. I work at home, so I'm home with Whiskers all day. And, you know, if he goes to sleep in the um, bedroom or if he's, you know, in the window or something, three, four hours can go by. I'm sitting here working and then I kind of look up and I'm like, where's Whiskers? You know, you kind of forget where the cat is. And, you know, so if you're going to put him out in the catio, uh, make sure that you set an alarm. OK, so you so that you don't forget they're out there, okay? Now, your cat's safety is important. By the way, here's my boy Whiskers. And this is my bedroom window. This is one of the windows that I want to cover with a screen. Now, if you can tell by looking at this picture, I'm in a garden level uh, um, apartment. So that window goes right out onto the yard. And there are squirrels and bunnies. I've even seen skunks that come right up to that window. Now, I don't care who you are and what kind of cat you have, if you got a cat that's face to face with a bunny, you know, they're gonna lunge at that screen, they're gonna go berserk, okay? So this is one of the reasons I'm nervous about whiskers. I wanna make sure these screens are strong enough because I don't wanna close the screens for the summer. You know, I've been cooped up all winter. I want him and me to have fresh air in our house and I want him to be able to smell and hear things outside, but I gotta make sure that he's safe. 
Um, now, I personally would be devastated if anything happened to him, if he was able to push through or escape from the screen, and if he were lost or injured or killed. Um, you know, now I do tend to fret a little too much about my animals sometimes, but in this case, I think it's wise to err on the side of caution uh, when it comes to this issue, especially if you live in a two-story house or if you live in some sort of a high-rise building. Cats have fallen out of windows and died, okay? It is a fact um, we have to make sure that they're safe now I do hope this article has helped a couple of things before we go I donate to animal charities I do people loving animals .com as my job and I donate 10% of all of the commissions that I earn on my website and also on this YouTube channel to animal charities and if you would like to go to the home page of my website peoplelovinganimals.com, you will see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. So again, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope today's video has helped. Please feel free to comment below if you have any other uh, suggestions or points that you think we need to make about this issue. If you do try out certain cat screens, I would love it if you come back and comment to share the information with other people who are watching this video in the future. So I might do a follow-up on this. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. And I would also ask you to please share this video with your friends who have cats because some people might not even realize this. You know, they might be like, wow, I never thought of that. You know, so if you have friends who have cats, please go ahead and share this video with them. I would appreciate it so much. Again, thank you so much. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.